In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your website X5 website using a third party FTP program. So if we open up website X5 and I open up a project, this is just a test site. The normal process of exporting your website is to select number five, choose the top option, which is upload the website to the internet, and then just enter all your relevant details and click on the arrow and it should be published using the inbuilt um, FTP program. If for any reason you want to use a third party one, it's quite simple. Again, we select number five, which is export. Then this time we choose export the website to disk. So this will save all the website files onto your computer. So you choose a destination folder. In my case, I'm just going to put into downloads and test site. And then you, ch and you enter your website URL. In my case, it's just a test site I've entered here. So once you select that, click the arrow. Click OK, so we've just um, checked that the ha that has been exported to the correct folder. So that should be in the download section and the test site. So we can see all those files now have been added to my computer. So the next step is to use a third party FTP program for this. I'm going to be using FileZilla, which is a free download. It's probably the most popular FTP program you can download and it's pretty simple to use. I will put the link in the description as well so you can download it. So once the program opens up, it's dead simple to use. You can either enter your host details, your username and your password in the top box here. You will need to know all these from your web host, obviously. If you want to add these permanently, what you can do, you can click on file, select site manager. And then from the list here, you can um, select new site. Then you can give your site a name. I'm just going to call it test. Then you can enter all your relevant details, such as your host, your username, and your password. So here's some temporary details I got here. So my host is this here. Enter that. Then I can enter my username. So normally you select um, login type, which is normal. Then select your username, and then you can enter your password. Uh, you can leave the port blank. Normally this is 21, but normally you can leave it blank or enter 21 if you want to. Then select connect to make sure it connects. Again, it's asking me for another password. If it does that, just enter the password again. So that's now logged in successfully. So you can see here in my case, I have a public um, HTML folder. Normally, most web hosts have this um, particular folder, and this is where you upload all your files. So if we select that folder there. So now we want to go back to uh, my computer. So on the left-hand side, you want to focus on um, all the folders. So I'm, I'm looking for my download folder again. So uh, it's located here. So I'll click on that, and then I can find my test site folder, which is here. And then that then reveals all the files and folders which I just uploaded from into my computer. So what I want to do is to select all of these by highlighting them all by um, holding down the left key on your touchpad or your mouse. Once that's done, you want to drag all of them across to the public HTML folder. So drag and then release. And then you can see down the bottom here is showing you that it's now uploading all those individual files and folders. So this may take anywhere from um, you know, 30 seconds to 30 plus minutes. So just be patient depending on the size of your site. Okay, that's now being completed. So the moment of truth is to see whether it has um, successfully worked. So I'm just going to copy this temporary address and publish it into Firefox or Chrome to see if it loads and works. And we have success. So that website has been completely uploaded using a third party program called FileZilla. So that probably took um, around two minutes or one and a half minutes to complete. So if your site is obviously, you know, 100 megabytes in size, it will take, you know, at least probably 30 minutes, if not more, to kind of upload. So just be patient. So really, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.